Hello, my name is Li Xiao. I'm a lecturer of the Nippon Dental University in Japan. Here, I'm going to introduce my article from Regenerative Dentistry to Regenerative Medicine, Progress, Challenges, and Potential Applications of Oral Stem Cells. I hope you enjoy it. From Regenerative Dentistry to Regenerative Medicine, Progress, Challenges, and Potential Applications of Oral Stem Cells. Oral stem cells include oral epithelial stem cells and oral mesenchymal stem cells. These cells can be isolated from oral tissue, including teeth and their surrounding or supporting tissue. In the daily dental clinical practice, there are many oral tissues exist from patients. They are usually disposed of as a hospital waste. In Japan alone, about 11 million teeth are disposed each year. However, these teeth and their surrounding tissue are not useless. They are treasures because we can get stem cells from them. Especially the deciduous teeth are more valuable because they can provide higher quality stem cells. Here is the human third molar wisdom tooth. When you cut the tooth like this, you can get dental cup like this. From the dental cup, we can easily obtain oral mesenchymal stem cells. The tissue attached to the surface of this tooth also provides oral stem cells. These oral stem cells are not only applied in regenerative dentistry, but also widely used in regenerative medicine. Here, I will talk about the current research about oral stem cells. Before we talk about oral stem cells, let's take a look about stem cells and organ formation. In an organism, all the tissues are built from pluripotent embryonic stem cells. The embryonic stem cells differentiate into multipotent stem cells, including epithelial, mesenchymal, and other tissue-specific stem cells. Interactions among these cells initiate and regulate developmental processes, resulting in the formation of highly specialized functional tissues and organs, such as tooth, hair follicle, lungs, kidneys, and other tubular organs. Once the organism matures, the pluripotent embryonic stem cells are vanished, and some multipotent adult stem cells remain in the developed tissue to sustain the homeostasis and repair injuries. Adult mesenchymal and epithelial stem cells remain in oral tissue. Here is a diagram of an immature tooth from dental cup, gingiva, and pure dental ligament. We can obtain mesenchymal stem cells, including dental pulp stem cells, BPSCs, stem cells from exfoliated deciduous teeth, SHED, stem cells from apical papilla, SCAP, periodontal ligament stem cell, PDLSCs, and mesenchymal stem cells from gingiva, GMSCs, from oral mucosal. Epithelium, epithelial stem cells can be isolated. During the past two decades, researchers have found that oral stem cells have potential for the regeneration of various tissues and organs. For example, oral epithelial stem cells have been demonstrated to repair corneal and esophageal epithelium in patients and animal models. Oral mesenchymal stem cells have a lot more applications in both regenerative dentistry and regenerative medicine. They have the capacity to give rise to cells that can help the regeneration of dental path, periodontal ligament tissue, neuron, bone, cartilage, muscle, blood vessel, liver, pancreas, and so on. Therefore, they have excellent regenerative ability. For more information, please go to directpress.com. Thank you for watching this presentation.